Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I am controlling the division with my mind. No, actually, it's with the Toby IX. It's a really unique uh, PC accessory that tracks your eye movement, and it has some features in the division that lets you play or aim just by looking at things. It's kind of trippy to get used to, but I'm gonna go out to the environment in just a second and show you what it looks like. So I'm now in the real world, and I believe, as far as I'm aware, I can just look at cover. Yep, I can just look at cover, and it'll do the cover mechanics for me. Look at this, I am not using my mouse. I am just looking at things. Can I look over here? Yep, come on over here. Awesome, look at this. This is kind of bananas. I want to go there. Yep, take me over here. That is a very, very neat use of an accessory. Kind of neat that the Division, instead of supporting it through a third-party app, just has it built directly into the game. I'm going to take over with the mouse and keyboard right now. We are going to go hit a mission, because I haven't done very many. Agent, I just booted up the game. Word of there we go. Let's do that. Let's see bank. if I can navigate. I can't Looks I think like I can make my guy turn. No. To access the Let me go ahead and do some of this. We this guy's just blabbing at me about something. Subway game something. Okay. Uh, I should let you know that this is a sponsored video. Toby X did pay me for this one. That is a required FTC disclosure. Uh, but I'm trying to do an unbiased review here. Come on now. Yep, so it seems like you need to initiate cover. And then once you're in cover, like the snap cover works way better. It doesn't seem to really want to initiate the cover as much as it does. Whoa, that's probably not where I need to be. Well, come on, let's get around here. All right. So we got all these guys. Let's go to blue car. It's going to be too far. What's on my left over here? What is on my left? There's morphine in here. Let's go over here, kind of. Right now. Let's go around. around. Let's see if I can sneak up on these people using just my eyes. That. That's a long way over there, but let's see if we can do it. Look to the right. All right. Oh, man, that dude is on top of the car. There's almost no chance I'm going to be able to sneak up on him. Let's try, though. Oh, is he not paying attention? Yep, he's not paying attention. Let's do it. Sneaking up on him. Damn it, come on. Gotta get real close for this. Let's go over here. Uh, no, are they gonna see me? I can't, no way. Just I'm too sneaky. To Something about Excellent. Screw that. You guys isn't right. Let's go this way. <laughs> Throw a grenade at him, why not? Let's chuck a grenade, guys. That ought to keep him busy. I'm an elite tactical operator. I have the I most elite skills. Ah. Area secured. <laughs> neutralized. So so strange that you can. I kind of like the intuitiveness of it. GTF it just notified. locks on to what I want to lock on to. It's kind of weird that here. I need to initiate We're first, but after I initiate now. cover, it's just whatever I want to do. Huh? Cover. Morning. Hostile forces oh, there's more baddies coming? What is this crap? Okay, we're gonna have to get out of here. Okay, come on. Wait, this is the wrong way. Alright, so let's... Whoa, that's bad. We have to uh, take cover a little differently here. Excellent. Alright. Hosing people down like it's nothing. Let's come back over here. Excellent. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the car. I'm gonna go to the car. Easy. I'm gonna change our cover a little bit. I kind of could get used to this. We've moved into the unboxing part of this review, which coincidentally I filmed first because I have to unbox the product before I can use it. If you get the Toby X, it'll come in a very long rectangular pink and black box that looks something like this, but it's just a sleeve and you can slide it out and go ba 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 ba. There we go. And now we're gonna open up the actual box. On the inside of the box, we have a quote from the Electrical Engineering Standard Society, which is a little bit weird, but we're going to go ahead and open it up. It's a pink box, and let's see what's inside. I actually can't see because I'm sitting behind it right now. I'm trying to bend it back. And we have foam, and this is the actual Toby Eye Camera itself. A very small, very thin device, apparently. If you can look carefully, you can see that there are several different cameras on it and what appear to be mounts on the back, so you can mount it to just about anything. 
So I'll go ahead and put this down right there. And let's see what's underneath the foam in the box. Okay, enter the experience is what it says. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there. Should be able to. Peel it back one more time. And on the bottom side, we have a variety of stickers and cables, which I can go ahead and take out. We have a little pack. I think this is, uh, yep, mounting plates that go on the very back, a very long USB cable, and some stickers and instructions. Boomy, do you like the Toby IX? It's like a new set of eyes for you, buddy. What is it? Hey, Boomy, you want to be part of the unboxing, bruh? Like how it just, he just lets us sit it on his paws like he just doesn't care. He's licking it. He's licking it. What the world. <laughs> hey, Bumblebandius. Huh? Does it pass the Doge unboxing test? Huh? <laughs> what an idiot. Good boy. You're a good dog. The setup is fairly straightforward. I know I'm filming a little bit crazy here on mobile, but all you get in the box is the cable, the camera system, and the two mounts. The two mounts basically have a 3M sticky tape side. You'll peel the paper back and then you take it. It's got a very strong magnet on the Mac and you will stick it to your computer monitor like so. The next bit is just as straightforward. It's got magnetic pins on the back, which if it'll come in focus here, there we go. They line up with the 3M sticky tape mount that I just put on my monitor. I'll try to do this here while operating the camera. We'll see if I've got that kind of skill. And uh, come on now, cooperate with me. I know you can do this. You just have to believe in yourself, IX. There we go. That's pretty much mounted in place, as straightforward as it can be. And the final step, of course, is to plug in the USB 3.0 on the side, which I'll have to put another finger on there to do. So at this point, I've got the Toby IX installed. I can pop it on and off as needed. USB 3.0 is on, and my monitor won't do anything too crazy here. You'll see, oh, yep, that glorious view, Sonic. Here we go, baby. Come on, boot on up. Looks like I've got a little bit of software to run through, but that won't take very long at all. So I'm doing a little live commentary now. Eyes only, as you can tell. I've got my DSLR way zoomed in because I'm gonna try to show off the calibration. Yep, basically got that display. Okay, oh boy. Uh, move the lines to the marks on top of your eye tracker. Oh, what? Oh, I see, because I've got a line in the middle. Okay. Okay, so I've got that line there in the middle. And I line this up with the physical size. I see how that goes. Kind of interesting. I Right now, what you can't see is I'm like matching the exact physical size on my monitor, which is a little crazy. Done. And, ooh, these are my eyes. Let's see. Huh. Oh, I'm making it mad when I go too far to one side or another. It says I'm off-center, too. Where does it think the center is? Okay. Huh. Press a key to continue. And let's see what our calibration does. It's calibrating my eyes! My eyes! Pop the dots? What? Oh, that's crazy because I look at it. It knows that I'm looking at it. I'm gonna get hella dry eyes here. <laughs> like, somebody tried to, I will do commentary. Pop the dots with your laser eyes. Stare at things. Oh, kind of crazy. Like, weird. Okay. Profile name, drift door. Um, yeah, I have nothing here. Oh, there's glasses setting too. Okay. And I think it's done. Is that it? Uh oh. Your device is about to change forever. Anticipating your intentions? What is this? Turn off the little volume there so we don't get any sort of crazy feedback. What kind of nonsense is this? Look around. Huh? Oh, uh, what? Huh? Uh -oh. Okay. Huh? That's unusual. Uh -oh. Whoa. That actually is targeting what I'm looking at. What the hell? I can look up, down. Whoa! Hold up, I can fry these? I gotta hold it. I feel like a villain, right? The difficult thing is I have like, I, okay, great. Try looking around some more. Hey bud, what's up? 
Sorry. I have wandering eyes. Okay, let's go to exit. Oh, it lights up to let me know I'm staring at it. That is so strange. That is... All right, so I was playing around with it and I found there's this feature you can turn on called Gaze Trace, which allows me to just look at things. So for instance, uh, it shows you exactly which part of these pictures I'm looking. Oh my God, these teeth. Oh my god, ah! Uh, so you can just see exactly what it is my eyes are gravitating. <laughs> yeah, so I can't help it, I, I'm looking at the giraffe, I know. And it just kind of, you can kind of see like, you can probably measure reaction time with this. You can see how it's tracing, but I can leave the mouse somewhere else. And, oh, to see, this is interesting to me, looking at all those. What is this guy in the sheet? It's just very neat how it works, like it's, I don't know, it's just a very neat feature. And I think there's a little bit more I can do with this. Uh, speaking of able to do more, apparently I can warp the mouse wherever I want and make it click on things. As you can see, I'm clearly not using the mouse right here. It's like a bicycle boy. See these pictures? Oh, well, we got Game of Thrones. Wow, that actor looks very different. See, it's very neat. I'm just playing around here on Imager, you know, looking at crazy stuff. But it's, it's very neat how I can just click on whatever I want. Like, this is just kind of one of the games that they wanted to show off because it has built-in features. So you don't have to use the third-party software, but there's like a whole list of other games. Uh, I'm surprisingly happy with it. I thought it would be... I was honestly expecting kind of a POS, to be honest. I was expecting it to just not work, but it it seems to do its thing here, definitely in the division. Take me to the fire truck. Oh, nope, nope. Take me to the fire truck. Now I want to go to the other fire truck, not the police car. Change of plans. Let's go to the police car. We go to the back, yep. Neato. Huh. That's just a hell of a trick. So yeah, that was kind of trippy. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the promo review sort of deal we did for iMotion controllers, which is a brand new field in gaming. I hope to see this integrated with VR in the future. And if you are interested, there is a bit.ly link down there in the description, along with a coupon that'll get you approximately $45 off the product. That's going to be coupon code Drifter. You can check that out. I don't have any sort of sales incentive here, but they did set that up to give you guys a $45 discount just for the channel. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.